Can we go 10? No. Crap. Started over here. Unless I put smaller ones in. Which is more sensible, really, isn't it? Let's try one more time. Here. Can we go all the way to 10? We can. Except there's a stump in the way. There's one stump. I think there's just one stump stopping that. Right, let's get rid of that one. <laughs> Where's my shovel? It's not there. Do I not have a shovel? I do have a shovel. Right, let's try this. One more time. Where was it? Probably about here. Can we get 10 wide on there? No. Damn, this is hard work. I mean, I only want to put a 10 wide field in just for the sake of, I can say that, uh, you know, it's 10 by 10, it's 100. It's a big field. Now what's stopping it? Oh, there's another sodding shovel. A uh, birch stump. Back we go. Ten. Come on, ten by ten. In we go. That's a big one right there. Okay, they're going to have a good time farming that. Field ten. Let's make it all flax. And that'll do. Except that. A little bit surprising when they make that grid with obstacles in the way. Seems like you could make the field and then you'd have to clear the field. Yeah, that would be fine. Uh, hey, normal people, nice to see you. Welcome back. The settlement's coming along well. We're going to try and... We're gonna, we've got to... I want to try and get a, a, a horse tonight for a mount, but it means we have to grind a ton of farming XP to get all the way up to being able to build the stables. We need the stables first. And yeah, I got eaten by a wolf earlier, so that didn't go terribly well. <laughs> and then that's when we found that the game had reset to uh, to have 30-minute autosaves. I have no idea why it's done that. I can only assume there's been an update at, at some time. Just eat some pears here. All right, I guess we've got, like, uh, a monster field now to, to grub up. To work. Shall I do it and get the farming XP myself? The idea is we're going to set some big fields up and I won't be able to manage the whole lot myself anyway. No chance. But this is why we're doing it, to level up. And also, the more of these things I have working, the more XP I'll get from the workers doing it. So it'd be like passive experience. I, I hope. I hope this is how it's going to work. Uh, what can we do? Skilled Rider. Skilled Orchardsman, Farmer's Trance, Faster Farming, Farming Master, Less Stamina Consumption, The Village Whistleblower. I'm going to pick that because I'll want my mount, my mount summoning. Actually, I should really get one of these, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll do the Farmer's Trance for one point. And then this is just riding stuff, isn't it? Skilled Orchardsman, Skilled Rider. Okay, let's do... Actually, I'm going to do Careful Farmer now that we've got everything unlocked because my farming tools do wear down quite fast. It's tilting when an update steps on settings without telling the user. You're damned right it is. Especially something like the autosave. Still, anyway, it wasn't too critical. It wasted uh, about 20 minutes of time, but fortunately we didn't lose anything that... Uh, would have ruined our game or anything like that. 
So let's take a look at how much farming XP this is going to get me, okay? So we're on 2,000, sorry, let's go, 1,327, 1,327. I should probably be able to remember that. And let's see how far it goes by the time I've grubbed up this entire field. 100 squares. Minus the 10 that we've done. Yeah, that's a good point. I better not be too enthusiastic with building massive fields because we might struggle to get the fertilizer at the moment to plant them. Yeah, I'm going to check that every time we load the game now. In fact, does it not say, when we hit this screen, does it not say what version it is? If I go into there, it doesn't say, it doesn't say what version it is, does it? So, what am I playing this on? I'm playing this on GOG. I could have updated. Could have updated without me knowing. This bronze hoe is lasting quite well. I was a bit worried that it might get smashed to pieces breaking up this huge field. Seems to be doing the job, though. I like plowing, <laughs> reaping and sowing. It's good fun. I think if I went to the game's main menu, if I came out of actual play, I think it would tell me the version number there because I'm pretty sure I've seen it. In fact, I, I could alt-tab out and check it on GOG Galaxy, but uh, I won't bother. So we found a nice bit of flat land here. Oh, hang on, have I missed a bit? I have, but it's very hard to tell that that wasn't... That's probably a bit of road. I've probably just gone over a bit of road, have I? Oh, that's working quite nicely. If only breaking in ground was as easy as this in real life. Actually, it's probably a good job that it's not. Otherwise, humans would have the, the whole planet deforested and every bit of wild shrubbery dug up and got rid of by now. Well, I know I picked the perk to remove a little bit of the damage from the tools to make them last longer when we're doing this, but only by 10%. So... That bronze hoe is just in a hundred field without wearing down at all. That's that's some good work right there. Uh, let's see, what's it got us? So 1327 <laughs> to 1351. That's nothing. I mean it has it, it has moved us on, but it's it's not enough. Okay, so next job. Let's carry on. I'm going to go and get a hundred fertilizer. We want manure. We want rot. Let's go and get everything. Does that roof look broken to you? Let's take a look at the houses. Production is fine. Hunting. No, it's fine, actually. Nothing's broken down yet. So we have manure. Fine for animal feed, thankfully. Manure, 79. I will take an even number to make sure I don't get the wrong amount. And be left with one, which would be super annoying. All right, catch you later, World of Cringe. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks again for the recipe and for all your generous donations on the last uh, stream so have a good night and i hope the cleaning goes well so we'll take 80 rot so i'm pretty sure this all counts towards farming xp if we go and craft things in here 
Give me that. We'll take that fertilizer first. Well, I'll probably need a couple of bags to get through 100 fertilizer on a field, won't I? That'll be quite a lot. So ploughing the field up itself didn't generate a huge amount of XP. I wonder if this sort of activity does. I wonder if threshing that wheat does that the guy's doing behind me. Should get a good boost, shouldn't it? Actually, that'll get us barn level two, which will probably be quite nice. And I wonder if that extends the range of the barn as well. I hope it does. Let's see. So, let me... Oh, he's got a load of oats and stuff that he's doing. I might just take over this job. There's no fertiliser in there. How much fertiliser have I got on me? Only 47. Right, back to storage hut. You see, we need more pigs. Suddenly, the pig requirements have just gone through the roof. I think I might have a lot of this in, though, actually. When I find the damn thing. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's that's good. 53. And some simple bags, please. I'm going to take two extra with me. I think we will get through them all. <laughs> the boss is coming and he's carrying a big bag of shit. Workers better get out of the way. Got the fields meeting up now. I'd have liked to have kept them separate actually, but it's it's hard work trying to to plant um, massive fields up, trying to find just the right space. Have you guys heard that these um, that Toplitz Productions are people behind this? I've also got a game coming out called Wild West Dynasty. I'm going to be checking that out. I wonder if it uses a similar engine to this. Oh, it looks like my chap has already started work on this field. I hope he's got all his other jobs done for the season. So it's, it's farming night, I think, tonight. That's the only way we're going to get that mount. Farming and poison. That's what it's going to be all about. I'll go and see if I can recruit a farmer from the local village to help with all this. You haven't heard of Wild West Dynasty? Well, it's not out yet. I mean... I say out. It's not even into early access yet. So I might do the same as I did with this one. Is check it out in early access. Get a bit of an idea of the lie of the land. And then, if it's any good, put it to one side and play it thoroughly when it's released. So I'm trying to think. I mean, I can imagine them using a very similar engine. But are we really going to be making, like, stone axes in the Wild West to go and chop down trees to clear space for the ranch? I don't think so. I can't see that being the case. So uh, it's going to be have some different, different stuff going on. So it should be quite good. <laughs> the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2, but extended, could be fun. I mean, it's going to have things like, I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Uh, the hunting should be with a rifle, I imagine. It's going to have... There will be some building, obviously we'll have to build... The, the ranch and probably some fencing and uh, barns and stuff. What else could we have? I don't know. There's quite a few options though. But I, what my point is that I think it's going to be, or I hope it's going to be different enough to this to really want to be worth playing. Because Frolic can use a similar sort of engine for the background work. It's not going to feel very Wild Westy if we're, we're chopping down trees with a stone axe, is it?
Hey, smelly orc. It's the same. Look at the trailer. You can throw spears. Really? The only difference, uh, I said, is colony. You build a ranch and farm with cattle. They say their events will be different. Well, it's not going to feel very wild westy if we're, if we're hunting our bear with, spe with spears. It, it just isn't. That would be a shame. But, I mean, it is early days. Very early days for the game, so we shall see what, uh, what comes. Looks like the pigs are going to do their job and keep, uh, keep us in manure. That and all my rotting beetroot. Pretty sure it'll have guns and you hope they add carts because the picture does show carts or travel carts would be cool to see. Trains! That is, of course, something that would feel quite Wild West, actually, yes. Are you going to put that in, then? Good lad. That's a big field we've worked over there. Right, I'll get started on this bit. Let's see. Technology. I'm trying to keep track of how we're going. It's, it's slow going, but, I mean, it all has to be done, doesn't it? I have another 100 fertilizer. I could put another big field in. And um, we'll just have some wheat going. Now, that wheat will get two crops a year. Which is quite going some, really. But this flax should bring in all the money I need forevermore. Which way is he going? He's going up and down. I'm going across. It's going to be awesome harvesting this big field, isn't it? Actually, I don't think I'll be able to do it in one go. I think I'll get overloaded. out of stamina come on let's finish that line off we should do it the old uh, the old fashioned way we do one line and have a stone jug of cider at the end and take a swig I'll go down here I'll work this bit over yeah, I can make medieval Weetabix you know I haven't had Weetabix in years and you just mentioning it now suddenly makes me want some I think we've got some in the house actually the kids quite like it only it won't be Weetabix, it'll be the, the cheap supermarket's own brand. Partly because it has less sugar in, I think. Hey, Benji. How's it going? We're on a goal to get a mount tonight, which means a lot of farming XP. So we can have a stable. Because I don't think we can have a mount before we get the stable unlocked. <laughs> Probably driving that guy behind me mad. What happens if I attack him? I'm just going to do random ones all over. Let's see him deal with that. Ha. Too slow. Alright, this bronze hoe is lasting really, really well. Mine. Do you know, it might actually be planting season for wheat. What are we in here? How do I tell? Does it say anywhere? If I put the map on, does it say? Yeah, we're in autumn. So, yeah, it goes from autumn to spring and then spring to autumn. So we are actually in the planting season. So I've actually done the right thing by helping him get ready there. And if that's the case, um, let me get 100 wheat grain. And I'll go and plant this up. Meanwhile, I'll put the fertilizer back in there. Yeah, it stops you planting in the wrong season. 
the experience now. So in all that work, we've gone from 1327 to 1398. So we've put on 70. But here comes the good... Hang on, what's this one supposed to be? That's cabbage. Uh, that's wheat. That's planted. That's the only wheat field I've got as well. Well, it was. Oh, hang on. I set this to be flax, didn't I? Flax isn't planted now, so I could actually put this wheat in. Yeah, screw it. And then I'll make another one for flax. Yeah, let's get going. Let's get going with it. Hey, Gartag. Hey, nice to see you. How's things? Okay, okay I'm going to put this on as wheat just because it is the time of year to do it. Uh, rye grain is autumn to spring. I think we're okay for rye, though. So what I'll do is I will just quickly change that over on the management. And then we'll have another flax seed going in. So field 10. Let's change, let's change this to change plant type. Wheat. Vroom. And we better call it wheat as well, I think. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. You're just running 3D Mark on your PC. You want to see the result? Oh, are you built a new one? Nice. Oh, that's always, that's always uh, an exciting time. It can be rather disappointing as well sometimes. You go to a big effort to rebuild, and then you find that the numbers aren't quite as uh, impressive as you were hoping. I have done that before in the past. Going back uh, a long time ago now, though, because I tend to wait a long time between PC builds these days. Go to Hornican, find Kestrel. Not tonight, maybe. I'm dirty. Well, I will be. I've just dug up an entire field shoveled shit all over it, dug all the shit in, and now I'm sowing wheat seed on it. That is likely to get you pretty dirty. This is steady going doing this, isn't it? This is why we want NPC farmers to do the job for us. the end. We're losing daylight. So what have you made, Gartag? What's your new PC consist of? Still got my new case to rebuild this one into. But because there's no great urgency, I, I'm just putting it off. I'm putting it off. Yep, down to another bag. Oops. Do you know what? I'm going to go around the field like this instead. Yes. Um, oh, those are your results. It's better than 94% of tested PCs. You're running a 3070 Ti. Nice. And an i7-11700KF. That should be pretty beefy. And what game are you going to play on it? Minecraft. <laughs> 3070 Ti. Just looking at the cost of 30 series cards just makes me cry at the moment. Still. Oh, we've run out. Well, we've got half the field done so far. We'll get the rest in before night time. And that leaves us tomorrow. Well, it doesn't just leave us tomorrow. I've got loads of time to get uh, the flax seed done because that's not planted. When's flax planted? Spring, I think. 
off the top of my head. <laughs> Minecraft runs like shit for what it is, so you need a beast of a PC. <laughs> I think it should run okay on Gartags. Oh, you got your 3070 for a great price. It's locked, as in you can't overclock it. Nothing wrong with that. And it came with a power supply together. Ah, it wasn't a gigabyte power supply, was it? Please tell me it's not a gigabyte power supply. Oh, you can't mine with it. Oh, okay, it's one of those. I think there are actually ways around that still, but um, who wants to mine with their graphics card anyway these days? EVGA, good stuff. So I do remember there was, uh, I think everyone's heard the story now about the exploding gigabyte power supplies that were being bundled with um, graphics cards. And the deal was, I think it was, was it uh, Newegg? If you bought it through Newegg, they had these graphics cards as a, gr a great deal, but you had to order a, a gigabyte power supply with it. And these were the ones that were blowing up and clearly the ones that gigabyte just wanted to shift Yeah, EVGA makes some good stuff. 850 watts, that's pretty pretty powerful. Plenty of juice in that one. We're going to get this done. We are nearly there. Before the daylight goes, before my bag wears out as well. Nice, we've nearly got it. We're on the last stretch now. We're into the last nine handfuls of grain. Okay, last one, done. Whew, that is the biggest field I have ever sown, planted, dug or anything in this game. Right, so while them lot are chilling out down there, I am going to go and have a bath. I don't think we're going to get mining done this season, but that, that's okay, I can kind of live with that. And let's eat some pears. The, the pears are actually pretty good because they, they do give you water as well as, as food. And that's fine. That's worked out nicely there. Right, so after all that, next job. I've got to get my ass to, is it Denica? Yeah, Denica. I'm going to go and see if there's anyone to recruit from there. And also, let's see if there's anything I can take to sell. So I think the vendors might just still be awake if we're quick. What have I got to actually sell? Uh, did I... No, I've kept enough flaxseed, so that's okay. There's still flax stalk, which we've got to do some work on. Fur, leather, limestone, linen thread, logs. Plenty more manure, rye grain, salt. Salt. Stick straw, tin ore, wooden bowls. I thought... I thought I'd set my guys off making some more stuff. But maybe I hadn't. Uh, I could sell those stone hoes. We don't need them. We've got copper ones. Copper ones would get me better money, though, wouldn't they? For the price. What do the stone ones fetch? Where are we? There's still some wooden ones to finish off. Stone hoes, 45. Copper ones, 110. Yeah, go on. I'm going to take those. And what else have I got? Bronze, bronze. Bronze axes, bronze... Oh, bronze hose are really good. I'm going to leave them. Copper knives, bronze knives. That'll do. I'm just going to take that stuff and sell it. I do have... Somewhere, a path going out the end of this town, don't I? <laughs> Where's the path? Do we know? It takes me all the way... To, to Denica, but there it is. 
I should put something on the, the edge of it so I can see where it starts. It's a fruit and alley. Thank you for the hydrate. Welcome to the stream tonight. Hang on, I'll get that going. I'm trying to get the hand of, the hang of doing this um, this auto run thing, but no, I keep, I keep knocking it off as well. Everyone's healthy here today. I hope you are too. Oh, you managed to trade in or sell rather your your old PC. That's a good way of doing it. It's kind of what I do. Is um, I always well. From now on, anyway, my last PC went to the, become the streaming PC, and the new one became the gaming PC. And every time I upgrade now, we're going to pass things down. So this one will one day be my streaming PC, and then the streaming PC will probably become my test PC that I test uh, clients' gears on and do use for data recovery and stuff. And then the thing I'm using for that will be sold off. So it's like uh, passing it down the line. Is she still in there? No. Right, who've we got? Any vendors still awake? 